ever to conquer, never to yield. For Independence High School, this, 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 this is Han. This is Night News. Good morning, Knights. It's Monday, April 24th. I'm Sam Rainey, here with your IHS update. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one indivisible. Please be seated for a moment of silence. As track season comes to an end, Night News' Chris Matam joined IHS's relay team to dive into their accomplishments. The Knights track team has dominated the track and field all year, making a trip to the area district meet in almost all events. We talked to a couple of the boys on the 4x1 team and Coach Crook on how their season went and how their path to area went. One that ran a district. So you had Michael Hester, the first leg, which is a senior that really came out, worked really hard. Um, we saw his times improve all year long in his races that he that he competed in. I think he held down that first leg really strong. Um, Uday and Uribe um, came in with the second leg, um, was very consistent all year long. Running that did a really good job for us. Um, when we got the district, Michael Lyons stepped up. He's a guy that wasn't originally on the four by one. Um, stepped up and held down that third leg, um, and you know just you know. His, his uh, selflessness, I guess, in that he's a kid that didn't run an open event. He just ran relays for us, and that's a hard thing to do, um, to not be able to run an individual event, and he really did that um, selflessly. Um, and then Caden House came in and ran our fourth leg. Um, he's a lone junior on that group, and um, I think that, you know, by the time he was able to come out and, and give us what he had, he, he really held that, that leg down with minimal practice, um, running really good legs with the four, us on the 4 by one and the 4 by 2 The group spent much time together during the season, from early morning practices to back-to-back -back track meets. They learn a lot from each other and influence one another off and on the track and field. Uday, um, he was really the one that, you know, showed me my, my, my potential and just, you know, made me really lock in for my events throughout, throughout the season. Michael David Lyons uh, was definitely the most influential because he always was telling me that just put your head down and run, don't worry about nobody. The boys fought hard this season and will always be remembered for that. For Night News, this is Chris Matam. Three star tests are coming up for all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. The Algebra 1 EOC is on Tuesday, May 2nd. U.S. History and Biology exams are on Wednesday, May 3rd. And all students who are not testing will have late arrival. JV and Varsity Baseball play tonight here at IHS. JV beginning at 4.30 and Varsity at 7.30. The Booster Club is holding a barbecue cookout in between games from 6.30 to 7.30 where concessions will be sold. All items are cash only. Color Guard auditions will be held on April 26th, 27th, and 28th from 5 to 7. They'll be located in the Independence Band Hall. For more information, contact Mrs. Tucker at tuckert at friscoisd.org. IHS Volleyball is hosting their annual Beach Bash Tournament on Saturday, May 13th from 8.30 to 1 at the beach at Craig Ranch. Tickets are $20 per player and will increase to $25 if purchased after April 28th. Up to six people can play on a team. Scan the QR code below to access the link to their website. The African American Studies Student Association will have a general meeting tomorrow, April 25th, in the lecture hall during activity period. Have any questions or concerns regarding FISD? There's a community input meeting tonight from 6.30 to 7.30. It'll be located at 5515 Ohio Drive. Juniors, make sure to schedule your graduation gown yearbook pictures through Prestige Portraits on either May 6th or May 13th. Use the QR code below to access their website. The Partners Program is expanding at IHS. Next year, IHS is offering Partners Art, Dance, and Partners PE. You can sign up to be a partner using the QR code on the screen. Thanks for watching, Knights. Be sure to check us out on YouTube at IHSNightNews.org. Follow us at IHS Night News to stay up to date on all things IHS. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.